Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 65. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 63 to 66. Trick number 65, this person asks, hey, how do I merge this table and this table into one other table? Now, there's uh, he pointed out there's an adding called table merge that I don't have and I've never used. Um, and that may be a good way. In fact, it's uh, you can get it from Microsoft. However, there's lots of ways to do this. Let's look at one way. We have a table, and the goal is to merge these, and there's not the same records in both tables. So our resulting table may have a lot of blank spaces, but this is what this person wanted. Now, it's going to involve a couple steps. We're going to use advanced filter uh, and then uh, some V lookups. I'm going to scroll down here, and the first thing we want to do is extract the unique records from here and from here. So I'm going to highlight this whole range right here and go to Data and Sort and Filter. And then here's the Advanced Filter. In earlier versions, you went to the Data menu and then Filter and then Advanced Filter. The keyboard shortcut that works in this version, Alt-A, because the A is for data, and Q, which is for advanced filter. I use this a lot, so I have that one memorized. We're going to say copy to another location. Is it looking at the right range, A4 to A18? It is. We want to say unique records only. That is the criteria, so we don't need any criteria there. And then click in the cell, uh, copy to where, and I'm going to click right there. Click OK. So it gave me a list of unique records. Now I'm going to come over here and do the same thing to this, uh, these values right here. Highlight the range. Actually, that doesn't matter because it'll remember. I'm going to Alt A Q. That's advanced filter. See, it remembered, so I'm going to very quickly highlight this range right here. Copy to another location. Unique records only. Remember, no criteria because that is the criteria. And I don't want it in H4. So I'm going to highlight that and hit Delete. And I'm going to click right there. Click OK. Now, we need to do Advanced Filter again because there could be some duplicates uh, here and over there. So I'm going to highlight. Actually, I'm going to click right here and hit uh, Delete. And then highlight this whole range right here. And click on the edge. When you see that move cursor, you can click and drag up. That's a good, good way to move. Now we're going to do advanced filter again. Alt A Q. Copy to another location. Oh, it got the wrong range, so I'm going to highlight it. Click in this range right here. Control Shift Down Arrow. Uncollapse. Unique records only. Remember, we don't need criteria because that is the criteria. And I'm going to say copy to where. And I'm going to say uh, right next to it, right there. Click OK. So there it is. Oh, yeah, so there was lots of duplicates. So we had to do advanced filter extract unique records uh, one, two, three times. I'm going to click right there. And on the home ribbon, there is the eraser. And you say clear all in earlier versions and this versions. The keyboard shortcut is Alt E A A. That's from the old edit menu. Now I'm going to highlight this whole range right here and move it right over here. And I need the remaining field names. So here's one field, Control C, Control V, and then there's two from here, Control C, and then Control V. I'm going to click right there, and there's a keyboard shortcut that will highlight the whole table. It'll go over here and stop because there's a blank, and go down there and stop when there's a blank. Control plus the asterisk on the number pad highlights the whole table because I want to add all borders, some borders. Now we need to do our first V lookup. And I'm going to have to look to the first table, so equals V lookup. I want to look up this value, comma. Scroll over here, and I need to highlight the whole table. Highlight the first two, the field, um, not the field names, the first two records, and Control Shift Down Arrow, and then F4, comma, and it's coming from the second column from the table we're looking up, and comma zero because we're looking up a word. There's some letters in there, so it thinks it's text. Close parentheses. That formula, Control Enter to keep the cell highlighted, and then double click and send it down. Now it's got a bunch of NAs. Now in uh, 2007, let me show you a great new function. If you want to see the way to do this in 2007, you can scroll over, and there is the formula. You'd have to use an if with is NA, and that's common before this new function. This is a very common formula. Scroll over here and show you the new formula. 
much easier. It's a great new function. Uh, if error. If error. It takes that, and if that's an error, it just needs to know what to put in the cell if it's an error. I'm going to say comma, and then double quote, double quote for blank, close parentheses. That formula, control enter, and then double click and send it down. Oh, and there it works. Now we need to do um, an, a VLOOKUP here and here and copy it down. I'm going to highlight the whole range just to start, because this is always an alternative to making a formula and then copying it over. And in the light colored cell, I'm going to hit F2. And because I need that if error again, I'm just going to start with that if error. And now I can do my VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP. What value do I want to look up? Now that one, when I copy it down, I need it locked. But notice I'm in this cell when I go over to, I'm sorry, when I copy it down, I don't want it locked. I need it to move to each new agent ID. But when I copy this formula to the, this column here, I need it locked because it still needs to be looking at that. So I'm going to double click that and hit F4, F4, F4 to lock the column but not the row reference. Now comma, and the table is over here, so I have to scroll over. Do not include the field names. Highlight the first record. Control shift down arrow and then F4. Comma, where is the column? Well, wait a second. For this I need number two, but for this I need number three. Well, let's look at a cool way to put a function in here that'll automatically turn from two to three. Column, the column function. And if I say B1, hey, that's column two. Hey, and when this, since that's a relative cell reference, when it moves over to here, it'll automatically change to three comma, and I still need a zero on the end because we're looking up an exact match, a word in essence. That is a word, and we can't, we're looking up words, so we're going to put a zero there for exact match. Close parentheses. Now, the if error is saying, hey, I got a value. What do you want me to put in the cell if it, this VLOOKUP evaluates to an error? That means that it's um, the agent ID was in the first table, but not the second table, comma, Quote, quote, close parentheses. So that's what will put in the cell if there's an error. Control, enter. And there you go. Now we have our table. Even though it has lots of uh, blanks in it, it merged all of the unique records. It got all the records from the first ones. And you could see right here when there's uh, records from both tables, that means that was in both tables. When there's none here but some here, that means that it was only in the first one. And when there's only the values returned from the second table, it means this particular SR122 was not in the first table. Remember over here, there's the uh, formula for doing it in earlier versions. All right, we'll see you next YouTuber trick.